afternoon. We're kind of having a nice chilled Monday for once. The well, is off all weekend, uh, all week. So we've got all the housework done today and we're just chilling out. The well, is about to play on his Xbox. I'm gonna watch some more RuPaul. We're just having a nice chill day. Today I got my Mickey pyjama top on. It's just a cropped one. Yes, yeah, so it's just a cropped one. And then I just got grey. Clock is on today. So I match him but not match him. Yeah, just having a chill day, caught up with my programmes, which didn't have many of. So, yeah. Gotcha. Don't throw it. Yeah, you put it there quite. So now you tip of the pens, isn't it? You try to be what you try to be like this. <laughs> <laughs> you look so weird. But yeah, check up. Let's come out to chill with us today. Hello, look at your big eyes. Look at your big eyes. But yeah, we're just chilling. We're gonna have a little something to eat now. We're just chill out for a bit, I think. Look at this delicious dinner. I am having spaghetti pasta with chicken and bolognese. And it looks delicious. We're having it on there with new plates today. Do <coughs> Bless me. But we're going to watch Iron Man 2 now while we have food. The one that's having cabin egg and chips. But yeah, we're gonna watch. We've got a glass lamp on as well today. But yeah, we're gonna watch Iron Man 2 because that is next on the list <gasps> to watch in know, the order so that they all make sense when we watch and go to watch Infinity War. So, weirdly, we've only watched two like we've watched Iron Man and the Hulk. And weirdly, they do you can actually see where it follows on. So, I dare say when we watch Iron Man now, oh, you, we're gonna see that like how it follows on. It's quite weird how it does, doesn't it? Even though we've only watched a couple. Oh. But yeah, that is what we're gonna do right now. Good. It's punishable by death. Well, technically, it's still one minute to it, or one minute to go till afternoon. Uh, we get off to the cinema today, like we did last week. But this time we're gonna go see the Greatest Showman when I was last week. Watch it, Manji. My pick this week. But we've been to the cinema every week for two months. Does that mean we'll go to the cinema next week? Because <laughs> we've been like literally every week so far. But yeah, I'm going to go see the Great Show one because I really want to see it and I love the trailer looks amazing. And my mum seen it the other day and she said it was really good. So it should be. And we got seats right back. Alright. Right at the back, right in the middle. So we're like in the middle of the screen. So it should be perfect. Because I don't like sitting around people while I'm in the cinema. So I'm going to be Good evening. So we've just got back from... Sorry if I sound a bit echoey. I've uh, come into the bathroom because I'm about to, to get in the bath. I just run my bath up bath. I used candy mating to make the bubbles. And I'm going to use a Christmas sweater, I think this one is called. I've not used it before. So we're going to use this one today. But I must say, a uh, great showman. Bloody amazing. If you want to go watch it, I advise you to go watch it because it is amazing. The music was fantastic, the visuals were fantastic. I literally cried like three times while I was watching it. Like, some happy, some sad. But no, it was really, really good. So now I'm just going to. No, I'm just doing some washing up and putting dinner on because we're having a turkey dinner today and I've decided to come and have a bath so yeah we're going to use Christmas sweater so let's see sorry you just have to see that but let's see what Christmas sweater does shall we oh well it's not really fizzing oh it floats this one Does anybody else put bubbles in as well as a bath bomb? Because a lot of people find it weird that I put bubbles in as well as a bath bomb. Well, it looks quite nice. It's turning the water pink, and you can you can sort of see it doesn't look that pink on you, but it's actually going really pink. Hmm. 
I like it. It's like pristine, bright pink. I can see a bit better there. Yeah, it's like seriously bright pink. Orange. It's not cool. But yeah, let's enjoy this part. Here we go. I thought it was going to turn it pink, but it's actually turned it red. And it smells a lot like cinnamon. So there's definitely cinnamon in it. Good, well, I would say good evening, but it's like half ten at night, I think. Um, I haven't really... <laughs> this week's been a bit of a mental week because I've been in work uh, for the second half of the week. Um, and I've had a headache most of the week as well, so I've literally been just chilling out completely, um, trying to get rid of this headache. And it's only today really that this headache has gone. Um, but to be honest, this today hasn't really been very productive. Well, it has been productive because I've finally stuck all the stuff that needed to go into a scrapbook in there which I'll show you quickly in a minute well, I'll say quickly but I'll show you in a minute what I've stuck in um, but we were planning on going on an, um, like a nice little country walk I was going to get my you know we were going to get like our wellies out and well not the Llewellyn got wellies but we were going to get our walking boots out and we were going to go for a nice walk come back uh, sort of like wrap up have a nice little cooked dinner then which we had ever cooked dinner but we ended up um I've literally had RuPaul on all day um, and Llewellyn was like catching up on his programs uh, on the iPad and uh, yes that's more or less all our day has consisted of is me and it literally took me all afternoon because I didn't realise how much stuff I needed to stick in there like I was organising it all and I like had stuff for the past I think it worked out like this past seven years I've had stuff that needed to stick in which I didn't realise I had that much stuff like I've sort of been putting it aside to stick in there and obviously the pile has got bigger and bigger and bigger and I had to stick it all in hey so I will show you what I have stuck in as a blank page so that's for our wedding invitation that stuff has already been stuck in so we have I started from here so we have some photo booth pictures from like his staff parties I think these were from like a good few years ago now because he hasn't been in Bath for three years and then we got, sorry about the light because the light's like reflecting the photo I can't really get away from that uh, these are from when we went to Blackpool yes in Blackpool um, Madame Two Swords so that was where we went and then we got, we got some more photo booth ones there so they, that was their Christmas party actually and then I've got one from a panto I think was that a panto yeah and then that was when we went to see Doctor Who the episode we were hearing it in the cinema so I went with mum and stuff this is a load of stuff from our honeymoon these were from um, a museum we went to and then these I think are our bus tickets I, like I mean I literally keep everything to put in a scrapbook um, this was from another museum that we went to. This was something that we'd ordered a little wedding gift to to ourselves from. Uh, this is just a little, and I open it, it's just a little like contact thing. It's like, well, it's kind of a menu uh, from a place we had food one time. And then there's another one that we have food from. And then there are our boarding passes. It's another like menu thingy there. Um, these are a couple of t train tickets, uh, that one's to Cardiff, which for the life of me I cannot remember what, what I went to Cardiff for that day. Um, these are from Western to Bristol and Bristol to Newport, and but that's when I went to see McBusted and Backstreet Boys and stuff with Lauren down in Western. Uh, this was when we went to Edinburgh and we went on the, as you can see, the Royal Yacht Britannia. That was a good day that was, I really enjoyed that. That was when we went up there for a wedding and then I've got a couple of cinema tickets here um, those, the blue ones are for Terminator uh, Genesis I think it was and then these ones are for Ant-Man some more train tickets from when we were in Dawlish when we were on holiday a uh, ticket for Inside Out when I went with Mum, Lauren and Chloe, Jurassic World 
with Noalyn. Um, I've got the Minions when I went with Lauren Kelly and the kids. Our two tickets for Chessington because we used to do the um, sun perks. So we used to um, collect the tokens and then we'd go to like a theme park or whatever. Like you basically get the two tickets and then you can go. So we went to Chessington for the first time and that was fun. This was my first ever blogger event that I went to. Um, party at the angel i think it was um so yes there was a few little photo books there and these are our little tickets from the steam train that we went on then we have when we went to paris so we got a disneyland tickets uh they're from when we went on the like tube although i think they call it something else but i'm gonna say the tube because it's basically the same and then our boarding passes, and that is an invitation from my cousin's partner's 30th. It was a surprise party, so I put the invitation in. Um, and I have a ticket for Hairspray, for Footloose. A couple more train tickets. Two are from when me and Chloe went to see Lucas Graham in Birmingham. And another is from when me and Llewellyn went to um, Barry. Uh, Llewellyn's cousins saved the date. That's in there when we went to see Alf junior that was good that was really good uh our tickets for when we went to see uh friends fast uh my Lucas graham ticket fantastic beasts ticket um these ones are god no what are these ones oh the nightmare before christmas because we went and seen that in the cinema the problem with cinema tickets is sometimes the the um title isn't quite on it properly so we've got Batman vs Superman, Jungle Book, Deadpool and a street cat named Bob. These are our Legoland tickets when we went with the sun. This was when we went to Amsterdam last year so they had a Marilyn Monroe um, exhibition on because it was 90 years so they were our tickets and the little leaflet, our little tram uh, tickets some more tram tickets. These were the pictures I bought because I thought they'd look really nice in here to um, just to commemorate where we went sort of thing. Um, that is our ticket for Ripley's Museum. Then of course I've got uh, two postcards from the Anne Frank house. So there's them. This was when we went to the zoo and we went to the Micropia as well. So I've got our little thing there where we had to like do all the stamps then we have our tickets for the Heineken experience our boarding passes these are the tickets for Magic Two Swords then we got our Anne Frank tickets like they're huge so they literally just take up a page each then I have tickets for Jim Davidson Russell Howard uh, Legends Live couple of train tickets from Cardiff I think, yeah I think they're all from Cardiff uh, Robbie Williams, two tickets for Busted which I've seen twice because there's the second one Donny Osmond, our Legoland tickets our wristband from Legoland to um, get photos another of Llewellyn's cousins, it was his 21st so that's the invitation more cinema tickets uh, for Kong Island uh, Logan that was when we were on holiday and we won at the bingo and then literally all these cinema tickets are from last year so there's like uh, War for the Planet of the Apes, Dunkirk, Girls Trip, Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Fifty Shades Darker, La La Land, Thor, Justice League, Babam's Christmas, Kingsman the Golden Circle and these are also from last year by Christopher Robin, Fast and Furious 8, Wonder Woman and then this is the start of this year, which we have The Last Jedi. Um, and I've also got a stick in Jumanji tickets. And we also went and seen The Great Showman the other day. And that just blew my mind. But yeah, so I just stuck all that in now. And I'm just getting ready for bed now. Sorry I kind of just rambled on then. But... Oh god, excuse me. I honestly haven't done a lot this week at all. I've like worked, tried to get rid of my headache. 
and that's a bit out but bit it really to we just sort of chilled out especially as it was Lorraine's week off as well so it was nice to just spend a bit of time with each other this week should be a bit more exciting in the sense of I'm gonna start yoga this week so I might do a little time lapse of me doing that maybe not my first one but my second workout my goal is to do two yoga workouts this week see how I feel about it um, and yeah and just having a bit of a sort out I've got to start packing for Butlins I've got Butlins in less than two weeks well it'll be a week Friday I literally need to start packing but yeah so I'm gonna go and chill out and go to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow so bye